Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another edition of the Bowtie Business Spotlight. And today with me, um, I have Sharice, who is the owner and operator of The Warm Cookie. And my name is Paul Bauer. I'm a realtor in the Lincoln and Omaha area. So how are you doing today, Sharice? I am doing wonderful. I'm so excited to be talking to you. It's just so <laughs> nice to see someone's face these days. So I'm just grateful for the time. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, and uh, I, I will tell everyone, Sharice did, did send me some cookies of hers uh, before this meeting, and I would have gone into a coma, a food coma, if I <laughs> stopped eating them. Um, they are that good every time you Just had to them. sweeten you up a little bit, <laughs> just a little. <laughs> and, then, and then after this video is when I pass out, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's five o'clock, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So we'll just get right into it. So tell us a little bit about yourself and the business. Yeah, so this is a family business. I'm very lucky to be running it these days, but uh, my parents actually started the business back in 2014. Um, my mom, they were running a really successful catering company out of the Grand Manse in downtown Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And my mom was trying to do some kind of... Um, like daytime catering and things like that to fill the days. Cause as you know, most of catering happens at night and on the weekends and things like that. So she was doing that. And um, we had heard of other States and places that had warm cookie delivery. And we thought that was something that Nebraska needed. And we had talked about it in the past, but it just seemed like the perfect time. And I was able to kind of help her out. Um, my background is actually in marketing and that's what my degree and all of my past I've been the marketing director for many organizations across Nebraska. And so um, I helped her kind of figure out her brand and what she wanted her business to look like. And um, not that we underestimate anything my mother does, because she is a wonderful woman, has successfully run many businesses, but I don't think any of us thought it would be as awesome as it was. So um, about six months into her doing this, she was doing everything herself. So if you can imagine, she would pull over on the side of the road, take an order, and then um, get back to delivering the cookies she was delivering, go back to their kitchen, bake some more, head out on another delivery, and just do that all day long. And so that's what she was doing by herself. So pretty soon, my dad had to retire from his full-time job to help her, and now um, you know what, just over six years later, we have about 15 local employees. We employ friends and family and, um, yeah, it's just bustling. And, um, about, I guess it would have been just over a year ago. Um, my mom suffered a brain aneurysm that almost cost her her life. And, um, it was a lot of, we had to pretty much go away. We were so incredibly grateful for our awesome local employees. They kept the business running. I bet most people wouldn't even known that, um, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, there, none of us owners were here running it. We were all in the hospital and in rehab with her. So um, we were very lucky and for to have awesome staff during that time. And she has fully recovered, which has been the greatest gift we could have ever asked for. Um, but I think after something like that, that just rocks your world and your whole family's world, you really start to consider life and what it's about. And for my parents, that was looking like retirement that they had worked very, very hard for. Mm -hmm. And I had grown up, my parents are actually very successful um, business owners. Um, back in the 90s, when I was just um, a child, they opened the Engine House Cafe in Havelock. Oh. So they actually started that. And they, I mean, I kind of grew up in the restaurant business and things like that. Um, that is now onto another owner. Um, they sold that, but um, they had a very successful catering business um, and they've done lots of different things. And I've always seen how hard they work. And I never really thought it was for me. <laughs> I was very happy getting my paycheck every couple of weeks and letting somebody else run it. But I think everybody gets to a point in their career where they're just like, I'm ready to be the boss. You know, I'm, I've seen it done by others and I'm ready to take control. And I never had considered buying it. But then as I started talking about selling it, my husband and I, we just started talking and 
you're just like, yeah, I think this is in COVID hit and everything snowballs. And so um, last fall I came and started working full-time last summer and my husband and I bought the business in the fall. So my parents are very much still around and helping and things like that. But, but now, now I get to be in charge most days. <laughs> Some people want to, you know, go off and do their own thing. So a, a kind of in-depth question would be, what really kind of turned it to that side of it for you where, okay, this is what I want to do. I do want to, you know, kind of continue that legacy. Yeah. I think I'm going to be really honest here. Like I said, I grew up with my parents, both pretty much working a hundred hours a week. Mm -hmm. And as a child, I was like, well, that's just what they do. That's what grownups do. And then I became a grown up, and I realized, I don't know how they did it all those years, plus raising kids on top of it. So um, I don't, I was always intimidated by that life, but I, it's like, you, like I said, you just kind of get to the point where you've seen other people do it and you want to do it on your own. And let's be honest, I, we bought a very successful business. You know, I've seen it. I've seen the work it takes building it from the ground up. And my parents did such an amazing job that when you can walk in and have something that, you know, will be successful. And even in this past year, we have to be so grateful. I mean, we already, we've always offered free delivery and that was what everyone was trying to learn last year during COVID. You know, you had all these restaurants, these poor restaurants that were trying to figure out how do we make this happen? And we were already kind of built for it. You know, we social distance, we deliver, we do all the things that we need to do to keep everybody safe. And so um, even with the crazy past year that we've had, it's just, it's such a successful, awesome business that I knew all I needed to do was continue it on its path and help it grow. So it wasn't, I'm not necessarily the entrepreneur type. I like being a business owner, but if you're going to be an entrepreneur and start something, it's a whole different ball game. So I think that's, yeah, I think that's the honest answer. <laughs> yeah. And, and I feel like one thing that a lot of people can agree with is when you do take over a successful business, sometimes it can, you know, become stagnant and, you know, you do have to, you know, think outside the box and, you know, be willing to do things. And I think over time, the warm cookie has always kind of been ahead. You know, you gave the perfect example where you've always had free deliveries that's what people are rushing to during COVID. So it always seems like in this just makes more sense since your uh, parents have been successful business owners is it always kind of seemed like they're ahead of the curve. Yeah, they really are. I think, I think when it comes to customer service, my parents have always been that way. You know, they've always wanted to make people happy. And that was, that was what they taught me from the very beginning, from the first restaurant, you know, that I was in around, they were teaching me customer service skills. And I think for that part, they're very, very advanced. And I mean, you know, we'd like to see the business grow. This is our only and first location, but you know, there might be possibilities to open up in other cities and things like that. So um, we're always kind of looking forward. Um, but I think at the same time too, I look at, there's a lot of companies and my employees, even they're, they're, they're kind of the dessert experts now. So they're always bringing me like, look at this crazy flavor that the other cookie, look at like, what they're doing, you know, some of the other um, dessert companies. And I'm like, that's great. But you know, our, our product is so classic, you know, like it is the cookies, like people like to say, oh, it's not your mama's whatever. Like these are your mama's cookies. Like this is what you grew up with. Like these are the flavors, you know, you know, we've got the chocolate chip, which is literally the cookie I made with my mom all growing up. And then we've got, we call it the Rachel, my sister perfected it. So she got her namesake on it, but it's the chocolate chip and butterscotch. And that's like a scotcheroo, you know, that yeah. Nebraska flavor, that's the, those flavors you grew up with. And so um, yeah, we like to think that our customer service is forward looking and our, our product is super classic. <laughs> oh yeah. And I, th I think it, it hits home, um, when you talk about, you know, this, this is your, your mom's cookie because in Nebraska in general, there's always a sweet spot for whether it's homegrown or homemade or, you know, yeah. from farm to table. 
And so this fits that niche and it can always be, you can't, you can't go from, you can't create something like that from starting from the beginning and starting from the scratch. And that's what your mom did. And I feel like that's why it's, it imploded without her, you know, ever thinking it would is yeah. you hit home saying earlier, that's kind of what it needed. So yeah. it, it yep. filled that, it filled that void. It's so true. And I mean, we are just so lucky to be somewhere that the places support local too, you know, they want to support those family businesses. I mean, we employ a lot of family members and we employ other families. We've got a mom and daughter that work for us and we've had siblings that work for us. Like it's just that the whole environment is that way. You know, our customers are friends and family and our, you know, it's just a big community um, company and we yeah. love, we love Lincoln for that. We're so grateful to be here for that reason. Yeah. But. And it's a great place to have it. So what Sharice is going to do is she's going to share her screen here and take us on a journey through their website. This is our website. Uh, first page is just kind of for people who haven't been here before, letting them know what we do. Obviously get you straight to ordering if you want. Um, we have the best customers. We call them our cookie fans. Um, so just a few very sweet remarks we've had from people. And then um, we were lucky enough to be voted uh, Lincoln's Choice for Bakery last year. And the year before that, we were voted um, the sweetest bakery in Nebraska. So um, just a little, little not so humble brags there. <laughs> um, just introducing people to what we do. And then um, probably the page that most people go to is our order online. So um, just some keeping people up to date with COVID-19. So we're not allowed in the hospitals right now, which usually we were hopping up and down all the hospitals all day long, um, getting people their goodies. But uh, now we uh, just have to meet people outside. So that's the only change we've really had. Um, people can order delivery. Uh, this is our box that every cookie is delivered in. So we only deliver by the dozen and you get one of these boxes that is gift wrapped. And we think it's kind of the perfect gift wrap because it's not too feminine or masculine. It's good for everybody. It's something you can send as a sympathy gift or a happy birthday. And it's just, it's kind of good for everything. And then on the back side of this card, we handwrite whatever message you would like to send. So that is our packaging, chocolate brown. And um, this is really my mom's full design. So this is what she came up with when she was starting the business. And this is what we will continue to be with. Um, and of course, a little bite out of the tags, kind of our signature, so. Um, or you can do curbside pickup. So normally this would be a carry out, but obviously in the world we live in now, we do curbside pickup just to help keep our staff safe. And I think everybody's really enjoyed it, especially since over the winter, people could just stay warm in their cars and we bring them warm cookies and it's worked out really good. So um, we've got uh, signs all over our windows just saying, give us a ring, order your cookies and um, you can come pick those up. And then we also offer gift cards. Um, these are great last minute gifts too, because we, we offer online gift cards as well. So if it's the middle of the night and you forgot someone's birthday and we're booked up or it's a Saturday and we're not open, you can hop on there and shoot somebody an email uh, gift card. Um, or you can get an actual gift card that you can give somebody so they can order cookies whenever they want. And if you come back up here, you can go to our menu uh, we have nine different flavors, all homemade here in our shop. Um, oh, and again, delivery is free. I guess we mentioned that a little bit. Um, and so you mix and match any of our flavors you like. Um, quick, we've got chocolate chip, peanut butter, cranberry, white chocolate. That one has a little hint of orange in it and is really special. Um, this is a Rachel that I mentioned. So chocolate chip, oatmeal, butterscotch. So kind of got that scotch roo vibe and it's really great. The classic snickerdoodle, oatmeal raisin. For all the oatmeal raisin haters out there, I hear you, but try ours before you really write them off because it's the best one you'll ever have. It kind of, I think it tastes like French toast. Like there's just something really special about it. Um, the monster, so that's got a little bit of everything in it. And then our sugar cookies, which we actually change those sprinkles. Um, they're bright green right now for yesterday for St. Patrick's Day and they change throughout the year. 
Um, we try to do Christmas colors and all the different holidays and try to keep those really festive. So if you're looking for something festive, M&M. &M. Um, our original assorted is two of each of our original flavors, which is our most popular order. And then we also offer gluten-free chocolate chip. And our gluten-free chocolate chip is awesome. We have, none of our staff have gluten intolerances, but it's still a favorite cookie of all of ours. I think it kind of has like, I don't know, almost like a s'mores vibe. It is a delicious cookie. It definitely tastes a little different than our original, but oh, it is so good. And we have lots of celiac fans out there. So, and then uh, with your delivery, you can have ice cold milk or uh, individual vanilla ice cream delivered, which with warm cookies is pretty great. So um, yeah, that, that's our, that's our delivery menu. Um, and then it goes down to the prices. So delivery right now is 1950 and uh, that's free delivery and that's per dozen and taxes included. So that's, that's what you pay for. So under $20, you can have a great di gift delivered, um, baked from us. And then um, we have special right now. All of our specials are listed here. So we're currently doing $17.50 a dozen if you'd like to do curbside. Curbside was a little new for people, I think a year ago. I think everyone's pretty used to it at this point, but um, that is our current special we have going on. So, and everything there. And if you stop by for curbside, you can also get pop or tea if you'd like with that. And you can order your cookies curbside. You can get any number of cookies that you like. So um, you can get a cookie by itself. You can get a half dozen or however you like to do that. So yeah. And those gluten-free cookies are a little bit more just because the ingredients are so much more expensive, but um, we still try to keep it as reasonable as possible. Um, moving on, we've got our about section pretty much tells you the whole story. I already told you about how my parents started the company and everything about our business and where we're located. So we're located down here. It's good to have a map. Um, so this is 14th and highway two here, and we're in a little strip mall here. There's a jet splash car wash there. If you're familiar with that or Shogun restaurant, and we are nestled right between the two. So we're super busy on nice days like today, people running through the car wash. Um, and then uh, every single night we get to smell Shogun cooking all their delicious food, which is always very tempting. <laughs> and then uh, contact us page, pretty self-explanatory. You can reach out to us if you have any questions. Um, all of our social media is there. If you wanna give us a follow, we do try to do um, special things every once in a while, um, giveaways and things like that. And we have something really exciting coming up soon. So make sure you're following us on social media. Uh, just a little teaser there. And then here's our frequently asked questions page. So delivery area, we get that a lot. Um, we're only Lincoln city limits. So um, we had to limit it somewhere, but we wanted to uh, be the whole city and that is growing every single day, growing south really fast. Um, the air park area around the new high school is growing so fast. And so um, we are expanding with the city, but it's a lot of space to cover. So um, if you're right outside of the city, I do apologize. Um, we do have a service on here that we recommend who delivers gifts all over um, the surrounding areas. Um, and they've been a really good partner of ours. And so we suggest that. So um, that is go for girl delivery service. So they deliver our cookies and lots of other cookies all over um, the area. So uh, we do recommend that if people are, we get a lot of requests for like um, the Hickman area and um, the Waverly area and things like that. So that's a great option, um, but there will be obviously delivery fees with that going out of town. Um, how accurate are the order times, things like that. Um, we do our best to be right on time with people, but to get as many cookie orders as we can, our order times really are approximate. Um, when should I place my order? talked about the gluten-free, just all the different questions that you could have. How early should I order? Um, this has been a big question since COVID. Can you individually wrap cookies? Um, we are doing that. It takes a lot of extra time and staffing resources and actual resources. And so um, that is something we offer, but it's an additional charge and is only available over phone orders. So um, yeah, and we just keep it pretty basic. So that is our website and kind of everything we do. When it comes to businesses that you're potentially like partnered with or, you know, sponsorship and things, 
who are you with out there? Sure. So um, I'd like to say we work with every single business in Lincoln. I think we have been to just about everything. I think the ones that amaze me the most is, you know, we get deliveries that go to fast food restaurants, you know, these people are around good, you know, um, treats all day, but uh, somebody, it's their birthday and, you know, they get tired of the food where they work too. And so um, everywhere. So go for girl delivery services, um, probably the only one. And um, that's just, it's not necessarily a partner of ours, just somebody who's really good at um, making it happen. And we know that we can depend on their quality. Um, we don't work with any of the door dashes or any of the national companies that do any of the delivery and things just because our standard is so high. Um, we have all of our own delivery vehicles. And so we don't want, you know, we want to make sure that we can guarantee the cleanliness of those vehicles and things like that. And so Gopher Girl is our trusted um, partner for any deliveries outside of Lincoln. And that's something we get a request for a lot. So that's, that's the one that we probably partner with. And then um, as far as other ones go, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to call out any of our best customers. I will say we get a lot, anyone who wants to thank the client, those are probably the people that we see the most of. So um, that we see like return and large, large quantities. I mean, um, during Christmas time, we'll have orders of, you know, 300 dozen cookies or things like that, that are going out to people. So we, we stay hopping and um, we're so grateful for them. Um, I will say, um, everyone knows um, we've got a couple of ladies at UBT, some mortgage ladies over there who I'll just, they know who they are and um, <laughs> we appreciate them a lot. They use us on a weekly, if not daily basis. And um, we, we know them by name and we look forward to seeing them and they're awesome, awesome. All of our customers are just awesome to work with. So we really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, a lot of medical practices and things and it's a good way to send Dennis Oh my gosh, you would think, and maybe I, I think it's just, um, you know, ensuring their future business, but the orthodontist and the dentist in town are constantly sending warm cookies back and forth and we love it and appreciate them. And um, yeah, it's just, you don't really put warm cookies and dentistry together, but we definitely have a good relationship, sometimes first name basis. So yeah. I mean, they, they say that, different chocolates actually can help go the the strength of your gums and like the like i needed another reason they eat more chocolate Thanks. so you know i mean <laughs> that's that's probably how they're thinking i mean one of my best friends I, is dennis so i'll ask him like hey what's the benefits of cookies and he could probably list off you know a bunch of different things so perfect absolutely <laughs> That, that way you can have a seal, of, a stamp of approval from a dentist. <laughs> that would be really great. We should talk to their association and see if we can get that. <laughs> That's awesome. Definitely. And you mentioned the very beginning, as far as you have your own de delivery vehicles, it's always funny because I've, I've talked to so many people that see them because obviously it has the really big, the warm cookie uh, on yes. both sides. Oh, our little billboards. <laughs> yes. And uh, it's always funny. I've, I myself have thought about this, but I know a lot of friends and family have as well. Every time they see that, the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, man, I hope they're going where I'm heading. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. Uh, we actually, we got an email from this lady and it was like the sweetest email. We got an email um, this past December from a customer and they had pulled up in front of her house and she's like, she emails us and she goes, I'm sure they must've just been looking at their directions or something and they pulled over, but they pulled over in front of my house and then they pulled away and I just wanted you to know how very sad I was. <laughs> and so she may have gotten herself a dozen complimentary cookies and she returned that favor with ordering, I think 10 cookies for her neighbors for Christmas. So it's just one of those give and take things, but yep. oh, it just makes our day to hear that from people because we truly, I mean, it's a small family business. And every time we hear something sweet like that, like it is like, it's so nice. So thank yeah. you all. <laughs> oh yeah. And yeah, I don't, I don't think that feeling ever goes away either. So you might've <laughs> just had the cookies, you know, last week. And if that happens again, it's just like, oh yeah, I could probably have them again this week. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we feel the same way around here. We are around cookies all day, every day. And I don't think any of us are tired of them yet. Like people will walk in anytime anybody walks into our shop when that used to be a thing. Everyone, oh, the smell is so great. And as an employee, you do kind of lose 
your ability to smell them the way you did when you first walked oh, into yeah. the shop. Yep. But um, the taste never, never stops being wonderful. <laughs> when it comes to this year and the warm cookie and Lincoln in general, what sort of things are you looking forward to? Yeah, well, I think we're with the rest of the world right now. This is going to be a very dated <laughs> spotlight because everyone will know when we were, but um, we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel with COVID and we've had our doors have been closed um, and we've been doing curbside only for a year now. So um, I feel like we're ready to open the doors again and we're excited. We're excited for when that's possible and safe and I'm excited to see smiles again. And, you know, it's funny, we've hired people over the past year and we talk about it. We're like, I don't know what your face looks like. Like how weird will it be to like see your face? And yeah. even since I've been back, we've only done curbside. And so I haven't had customers in the store and we have, um, we have sweet little tables that um, they're actually chalkboard tops. And so you oh, can cool. come into the shop and while you enjoy your cookie or the kids can draw on the tables and stuff. And we just really try to make it a fun family environment. And I think we're excited to get back to seeing those faces. And, and then, yeah, after that, um, possibly growing the business. So if you know anybody who wants to open a franchise in another town, let us know. I think we've got Lincoln covered, but um, yeah, probably looking forward to, to growing as, as we can. So, yeah. That's great. And I, I know if growing is kind of what you're looking at doing, I know wherever you do land, you're probably going to have instant uh, uh, fame in that area. Because <laughs> uh, all, all it takes is just one stop going in there. And obviously, you already have, you know, customers and fans, you know, from the entire state. Um, I know I hear, like I said, that's, that's an not just in Lincoln, those people that are talking about, um, you know, it's in Omaha a lot too. So wherever you land, yeah. at, I feel like you won't really have any trouble con continuing that tradition. So, um, That's so kind of you, we appreciate it. Yeah, we get, um, I've been pretty excited. We've had orders from Spain and England and Canada wow. and all over this year. And, um, we're, we're pretty, we, we're very thankful. Um, we've been pretty popular within, the UNL parent, they have like their own clubs and I think social media groups and things like that. Um, and UNL parents are big fans of the warm cookie because what do you, I mean, your college kids going through finals and COVID and anything else they're possibly going through. So being able to send them a home baked treat, I think has been pretty nice for those parents. And um, they're, yeah, they're some of our biggest fans and vice versa. So, <laughs> yeah, well, Sharice, I definitely appreciate you coming on. It's been great to have you and learn about the the business and the family aspect of it because I think that's what really keeps Nebraska in general, uh, you know, wholesome is when you have that experience and it's family related. So thank you yeah. so much for coming on. Yeah, I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you for what you're doing for small businesses. We, we appreciate it so much. And thanks to everyone who's been shopping local and everything you've been doing to help us spread the word. So it's awesome. So thanks a lot. No problem.